Welcome back to Google Guru. So I've received a bunch of requests for a video about Google Reader. So I just wanted to touch on that for a little bit and give you guys an introduction to Google Reader and show you how to set that up and subscribe to some feeds of your own. So there's a couple ways to access Reader. You can click on the More tab at the very top of your screen, scroll down and click Reader, or just go to google.com slash reader. So when you view this screen, to set up your account, you will already have some suggested feeds for you. Since I've already set up my account already, my subscriptions are already here. So to subscribe to some feeds of your own, you can click the subscribe button on the top left of your screen and enter in the website that you're interested in following. So I'm going to type in TechCrunch and that'll bring up any sort of website that matches the criteria that you just entered. You can also visit the website itself to see if they have a RSS feed button. So I'm going to visit TechCrunch and as you can see at the top right corner of the screen there's this button right here. So when I click on that it will give me the option of which feed I want to subscribe to. So I'll click the main one which will give me all of the TechCrunch content. And then from here it will ask me which newsreader that I want to use to follow and I'll click the Google logo over here on the right and add to Google Reader. As you can see here's the first article from TechCrunch, the most recent one, and then as I scroll down I'll see more of the recent articles. So with this view, which is the expanded view, you have the full article along with any relevant images and as well as the title. As you scroll down you'll notice this blue line on the left hand side of the article. As you scroll down it'll turn to gray indicating that it has been read and so forth as you scroll down the screen indicating that these articles have been read. So that's one way of viewing Google Reader. Another way is through the list view which provides you with just a series of headlines instead of the entire full text article. So this is the same article that I was looking at earlier. So towards the bottom of the article there are links to share through social media and email. So you can plus one on Google Plus, you can share on Google Plus, you can send in an email, and then you can also mark it as unread in case you want to revisit it again easily. So after you add all the different sources that you're interested in, you can look over to this section right here that says Explore, which will give you some recommended articles or sources that Google will compile based on your specified interests. So I'll click on Recommended Items and Here's a bunch of relevant articles that Google thinks I might be interested in. So that's just a quick little introduction to Google Reader. It's a great way to keep track of multiple websites that you're interested in on multiple different topics. Instead of searching through the internet and visiting multiple websites during the day, all you have to do is just go to your Google Reader account, which will compile all of the articles that you would be checking out at other websites into one easy to find space. So I hope this was a good introduction for you. If you have any more questions about Google Reader, please leave us a comment in the section below the video. Thanks.